Hey friends. Yes, I'm wearing a jacket outside. I don't know if you can see the leaves. Uh, it's uh, like 11 degrees out right now. I think that's about 55 American degrees, give or take. Um, we're gonna do another three workouts. Hey, okay? I like these little workouts because you can start mixing and matching them uh, later on, okay? Maybe grab one, you know, you've already got it written it down. Okay, add it to another one, make an hour long workout, make an hour and a half long workout, do whatever you need. Today, we've got a 10 minute, a 15 minute, and a 10 minute, okay? Super simple, okay? We're gonna start off with a little bit of skipping just to get ourselves warm, just two minutes. Then we're gonna transition to our first 10 minute segment, okay? And it is going to be four movements, okay? That is going to include a push press or push jerk, okay? I'm gonna be using dumbbells today. If you'd like to use a bar instead, I didn't have mine set up, feel free to go ahead and do so, okay? The push press or the push jerk is more than just a strict, what I would like you to do is actually involve the legs, and so there's going to be a little bounce, okay? Use the legs to repel that weight, because trust me, you're gonna want to. We're gonna then move to lunges, holding the dumbbells, either on shoulders or alongside, push-ups, and then we're gonna move to box step-ups. Now, I chose box step-ups because the name of the game today is going to be pacing. Pacing, I want to start off a little bit lower intensity, get that heat going. Box step ups, if you'd absolutely prefer to do box jumps, fantastic. If you don't have a box available to you, then find something that works, okay? Step onto a chair, actual stairs, you know, do something that is going to make sense for your body and your practice or your workout. We'll have a short break. After that, we're going to move into a very simple couplet. Simple, okay? The couplet is going to be ball throws, ball, and overhead lunges. Yeah, preferably using the same weight since that's why we're warming up here or here so that we can take them overhead. The ball throw, I'll demo it when we get into that little break in between. We want to get the full range if possible, a deep squat into a full propel. Okay, yes, if all you're gonna be able to do today is get it just a little bit out of your hands before it comes back down, amazing. If you've got a space above you to hit that nine, 10 foot mark, boom, let's do it. The absolute fun part of our couplet is every 90 seconds, no matter where you are, we are going to stop. And we are going to do six, six, I had to make sure, six burpees every 90 seconds. And then, re and then resume. No worries, no problem. And maybe that's gonna be enough for you. Maybe today, we strap ourselves up in a vest, vest to impress. If you don't have a vest, no worries. Okay, you've got the movements. Use the weights that are going to make this challenging for you. It is 15 minutes of as many rounds as possible Every 90 seconds, we're stopping, we're doing six burpees. Boom, keep going. Yep, super simple, right? Two minutes of rest, because I found out apparently five minutes of rest is too much. Two minutes of rest into our final 10 minute segment. Okay, one of the, I'm gonna call them CrossFit, uh, benchmark workouts or wads is called Cindy, and it is three movements, a pull up, a push up, and a squat. A, in order, it is five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. Cindy is traditionally done in 20 minutes, as many rounds as possible. Today, we're just gonna cut it down to 10. So it's a 10-minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible, of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats, okay? That's gonna be your burnout workout, okay? Because after that, we're done, that's it. You can send it, mail it, post it, whatever it is that you need to do, okay? What's the shake and bake, anyways, okay. I'm a little excited for this. Perhaps, perhaps, vests of course are optional because it's an AMRAP, you're gonna be able to do whatever you need. If you don't have access to a pull-up bar, rows, upright rows, whatever it is that you need to do, okay? So let's get ourselves set. We're gonna start off, as I said, two minutes of skipping just to get the body moving. And then that first 10 minute segment, okay, we do have three rounds of those, uh, sorry, three rounds of 12 reps of each of those four movements, okay? So again, uh, push press, lunge, push ups, and box steps. That's where we're going to go. If you finish ahead of me, 
okay? Or you finish before the 10 minutes is done, get back on the rope or get back on your cardio, just keep moving. Or if you've got plenty of time and you wanna do a whole other round, then you do as many as you can, okay? Let's get ourselves set, we've got our timer going. We're gonna start off in about eight seconds. Grab your rope. This is a warm up, just to get the body moving. And go. I'm gonna turn off the sound here, go. Let's go, skipping. So especially when I'm doing a lot of shoulders, I like to really make sure that my upper body is warm. That's the reason that I am wearing a jacket to start this. Don't worry, it'll come off here in a couple minutes. Sixty seconds. Okay, there is going to be a short little break, just a transition, about thirty seconds or so. We let you put your rope away, whatever you've got. Get your weights available. Last thirty. seconds get yourself set whatever it is that you need to do I'm just gonna move this over here okay. for lunges again I like putting my knee all the way down so that's why I wear knee sleeves just gives me that little bit of pad and okay, so we're gonna start off with that push press so use the legs propel the weight there we go 12 First round, maybe just hold alongside, get used to holding the weight, moving into our lunges. Okay, so six per side. Push-ups. Okay, if we're just starting off, okay, figure out your options. You're on your toes. Box step-ups. Okay, so six each light, 12 total.
Okay, there we go. Two more of those. I'm gonna struggle to get out of my jacket here. Push. You're in my way. Push-ups. Okay, so lots of shoulder stuff today, even though it's also lots of leg stuff. So as I said early on, this is a pacing workout. Okay, so if you come out really hard, really fast early, you're probably gonna start fading. Use this first set to really just explore the range, build the strength, the heat, figure out how you're feeling. And so we're almost halfway. I'm nearly done, two rounds. If you finish, either, Add another round, or get back on your cardio, your rope. <clears throat> okay, so there's the five minute mark right there. So if you haven't already been trying, maybe do your lunges, keeping the weight on your shoulders, either stacked or holding, whatever makes sense. But remember the little dip, okay, save that shoulder strength here. If you want, use you know, whatever your weakest movement is as a little pacing zone. Okay, if it's the push-ups, because we've got a few more push-ups for our day today. Okay. Figure out your range, get yourself moving. 
If it's all too easy, box jumps, always an option, right? All right, puppy, yeah, okay. You just lay there and let me do the work. Okay, we've got about two minutes left. I'm going back to the rope. Just keep the heart rate going. <sighs> you want to keep adding strength, you go for it. We got a whole lot of strength to come though. So give yourself time. Use this, maybe it's just a few minutes. Mindfulness, relaxation. You want to go harder? Go harder. But you've got two AMRAPs out of this. Okay, last minute. seconds. Last 10. You can put your rope or whatever cardio you're using away. Okay, we don't need a box either. I am probably just gonna use it to rest my dumbbells on so that they stay out of the way. So, couplet, 12 ball throws. Okay, so we've got our ball. It's going to be a deep sit and a big launch. And from a squat, throw it up. Squat and up. Okay. 12 of those into 12 overhead lunges. So if you are going to be comfortable using the same weights, amazing. We're going to lock them overhead. Make sure the shoulder blades get down and away. And we are going to step into 12 lunges. So just six per side. If Two is too much. Okay, how about just one weight overhead? Okay, this is going to start activating our core a little bit more. Again, six one arm, six the other arm. Every 90 seconds, okay, every 90 seconds, we are going to stop everything and do six burpees. We're not going to start with burpees though, so you can hang out, relax, there's no, no worries. You have 30 seconds to make your choices. Maybe it's just weights, getting ourselves ready for those burpees. Maybe strap ourselves up. I got my 20 pound vest for fun today. On the back, I have a nice little tag that says, uh, embrace the suck because, yep. You ready? Three, two, go. 
overhead. We have just over a minute. Okay. Well, that was fun. Ten seconds. Five seconds burpees. Six of them. Go. So, how's that feeling? Remember, pacing is what's gonna be important here. Hey, if you're sucking wind after your burpees, give yourself a moment. Get a throw or two done, then if you need to take another rest, do it. seconds and more burpees <sighs> 10 seconds <sighs> burpees <sighs> get down me too. Keep going. I think I'm going to switch to single overhead. Save my shoulders a bit. Last 40 seconds. I'm 174. Oh, come on. Ah, burpees. Let's see how it moves. Finally, holy. Thirty seconds.
burpees, burpees, burpees. If you're looking at the ground and you think if you get down, you're not gonna get back up, walk in the club, get back up. Faster, I need you to not help me with burpees. Okay, there's only 20 total minutes left of our workout today. That's it, and that includes rest. <sighs> Keep going. One, you have five seconds. Burpees, burpees. Everyone's absolute favorite reason to have fun outside. Keep it going. Burpees. All right, so super fun couplet, right? Yeah, I'm having a great time. <sighs> okay, 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 40 seconds, as many as you can. Get another rep, get two, ten seconds. Six, burpees.
five. shoulders. Five seconds. Last. Last one. Six. Burpees. So we are almost there. There's 14 minutes left total workout. Let's go. There we go. Finally, holy jeez. Felt like those took forever. 10 seconds. Well, 13. This is now the last one. I've been lying to you every time up until now. Burpees. We can do it. That's over. So, what was that like? 14 minutes? Flew by, right? Till the end. Last 45 seconds. As many reps as you can. Keep going. Last 20. Hey, if you are presently wearing a vest, you may wish in that very satisfying like motion to take it off. This is right to the side. We have 90 seconds left of, left of resting before our final 10 minutes. And that is it. 10 minutes. 10 minutes of giving everything you can, leaving it on the floor, all of those motivational things. 10 minutes to push yourself to where you think you're gonna die. And then don't die. Because I need you to tell me how you did. And if you are enjoying this as much as I clearly am. Five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats. 
I'm not going to do it with the vest today, but if you are rocking it today, go for it. Okay, pacing, continuous movements, get yourself set. Okay, maybe we're using assistance. Banded pull ups, amazing. Upright rows, amazing. Use your dumbbells, just do bent over rows, amazing. Shock yourself up. My Canadian tire chalk bucket. So if you're a little warm, you know, even if it is what sub 60 degrees American, sub 12, sub 13 degrees Canadian. Let's go. Five. Five. Just five. It's easy. Into 10, easy, All right? Okay, maybe we're doing this from our knees just to keep going. In the air squats, okay? If you are playing with powdered chalk like me, a brick chalk, while you're squatting, great time to chalk up. See how it works out for everyone? One down. Hey, if you've got a full pull-up bar and you like doing kipping pull-ups, go for it straight. Go for it. Choose your options, right? It's your workout. I'm suffering along with you. It's only 10 minutes. Easy. I have already done like. I don't even know. Two? <sighs> this is another one of those workouts, so where you're gonna want to pace it. Okay, you come out strong fast, you're probably gonna suffer at the end. So give yourself those breaths as needed. Shake it out, head above the heart. <sighs> you can hear my labor breathing. <sighs> Chalk. Two. Get out of here. Breathe, get yourself set, and attack. Oh. 
almost there. Chalk a little early. <sighs> Hi, puppy. I know. I know. Am I doing a good job? Baxter's not impressed. I need to work harder. We're almost there. More than halfway. Have about what's that? Four minutes left. Can you give me at least two more rounds? Can you give me three? Four? If you're rocking this with your vest on, you rock. If you're rocking this without your vest on, you rock. If you're lying down, curled in a corner, not wanting to play anymore, you still rock, and I believe in you. Let's go. Under three minutes, two and a half to go. You got this. Now we get rain down here. seconds. The last 80 seconds. Just keep moving. Twenty-five. 
25 seconds. 25 seconds. Okay, 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 I'm gonna stop. Now, how'd you do? So I ended up getting eight rounds. And it was fun. Baxter, I don't need your help right now. <laughs> Coach Baxter is coming over to approve of my effort. Hey, see, here we go. In case you missed it. Well, I hope that there was the appropriate amount of suck there. Keep showing me what you got. Let me know what you want. I like these little short ones, as I said, because you can start mixing and matching. And you know what, you only have 10 minutes, you only have 15 minutes, they make for great little workouts all on their own. <sighs> Till next time, I'm Aaron, have fun. <sighs>